I'm gonna kill him. Oh, Sophie, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but we've got no water. We're gonna have to cancel. But it's the practice run for the wedding. Yeah, we'll just have to do it another time. I drive took the morning off. Why don't you do it at our house? What? With your head over the kitchen sink? Why not? Bring all the chairs, the dryers, all the gubbins. That way you don't have to cancel any appointment. Don't talk ridiculous, Kyla. I think it's a genius idea. You would. No, actually, Audrey, she has got a point. I mean, we don't know how long the water's going to be off here, do we? But what would Gail say when she gets back from Milan? She won't mind. Fine by me. Well, I suppose we've got nothing to lose, have we? <laughs> mind your backs, girls. Right, Virgin Mary. Have you learnt your lines yet? Oh, nearly. Oh, I'll remember them when I'm on stage. All right, sorry you've done this before. At me old school, we did Cinderella. And I was Cinderella. I had a solo and everything. You used to the starring role is this one. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm not the star in this. That's baby Jesus. Oh, I can't afford another one. Well, you shouldn't have to, Eileen. None of us should. Mr. Bit. I'm so good at kill Chesney when I see him. I told Tyrone they were dodgy. You get an eye for it in my game. They are so giving us a refund. Mm. Plus damages. You can't claim damages. I've got needles in my underwear. I'm risking injury just sitting here. Maria, it needs another coat. Oh, Kylie! Don't look what you made me do. Ah, oh, don't worry. Gail's not house proud. I could do your next client. You don't work here anymore. I mean, there any... Oh, would well, you know what I mean? Well, it's because of her you're working at all. Oh. I suppose. One client. <laughs> oh. That'll be them. Oh. Afternoon, ladies. Oh. Owen, did you manage to look at me plumbing? I did, love, and I'm afraid there seems to be a blockage. Oh, you surprised me. What sort of blockage? Well, I won't know that until I get in and open up the pipes. Oh, no. When can you do that? Well, I need to call my plumbing contractor for the tools, and then, of course, there might be replacement parts, which I don't have. Well, when can you get them? Might not be till after Christmas now, I'm afraid, love. What? Grant, it's him. I'm telling you, it's all him. Look, whatever you can do to hurry things up, Owen, I will be eternally grateful. I'll do my best. Yeah. And remember, there's a year's free haircuts in it for you. What? No, Grant's motivation. <laughs> be in touch. Oh, such a nice man. Whew. How you feel? But can't you make an exception just this once? Yeah. Well, I'll bring your Christmas cards round. Oh, please, Stuart. And there's a little bit of something there towards your wedding reception. Oh. You said the black puddings was extra. Dad, that's masses. Yeah, well, I said I'd chip in, and there's a little bit extra there towards your wedding dresses. Thanks, Dad. That's amazing. Yeah, well, don't go getting married again in a hurry, eh? <laughs> well, look, Sean, look what my dad's give us. Kevin, that's brilliant. Thank you. What's up? No, Stuart. Who? The pastor from the old church. Oh, and he doesn't approve? All we want is his blessing, and he's just said no. Well, I don't know why you're acting so surprised. Because, Sophie, I do think we need some sort of religious angle somewhere in the day. I don't see why you're getting so stressed out about it. Well, I don't see why you aren't. Because, Sean, if Stuart says no, then he says no. There is nothing we can do about it. Yeah, well, there must be some way around it. Well, I can't help with that one, I'm afraid. Right, I'll uh, see you later, before your mum catches me, eh? Yeah, see... Thanks, Dad. You going to the play later? Nope. I've got too much stuff to do for my wedding. Why are you? No need. Thanks to Sunita, I know every word. She knows far more about the birth of Jesus than any good Hindu girl should. I have just run into Rosie. Oh, yeah. And she's been telling me all about the things she's got planned for her head night. See, I don't like that face. Low-key and classy, I told her. I hope you lent her a dictionary. So how chavvy is it going to be, scale of 1 to 10? At least 11. If we do all the things she's talking about, I swear we are going to make Tower look like Downton Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, this is what I mean, as if I've not got enough to worry about. So, chill out. We can sit Rosie down and sort it, it'll be fine. Especially when you hear about the surprise I've got lined up for you. What is it? Um, well, you're just going to have to wait and see, aren't you? <laughs> got things to do. This is Reverend Douglas. He's a vicar. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Bit of a giveaway, isn't it? Yeah. Good to meet you, Sophie. Shan's told me a lot about you. Has she? Yes. And I think it's great you want your partnership blessed in church. <laughs> well, you're the first vicar I've ever heard say that. Attitudes in some parts of the church are as antiquated as their buildings. Mm, you can say that one again. <laughs> I love God, but can I not love the person who made me as well? Of course you should. Now, my church is a bit more progressive. 
So long as I'm satisfied you're ready for marriage, I'd be happy to celebrate it there. See, I told you I had a surprise. <laughs> Your mother makes a cracking mince pie. Do you want another one? Mm, I think four would be excessive. Oh. Then again, it is the season, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what is it that you needed to know? My only reservation is your age. It's a big commitment you're making. Look, if there was any doubts, we would never have made it this far. I mean, these couples who've been married 20 years who I don't think have gone through the things that we have and we've stuck together. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Exactly. And Sophie's the only person I've ever loved and she's the only one that I will ever want to be with. Some might see your intensity as a sign of immaturity. Well, it's not. Because I know exactly what I want. I've never been more sure of anything. You seem quiet, Sophie. No, I'm just taking it all in, me. Are you equally sure? Are you ready to commit to Sean? Yeah, yeah, defo. <laughs> I think we'll stick to I will on the day. Does that mean you'll do it? Yes, I'd be delighted to bless <laughs> your union. See? We get to get married in a church just like we've always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to get hammered, that's fine by me. It's Christmas after all. Um, that's 19.50. Keep the change. Go yeah, Becca. Shall I write her? She's just, uh, full of Christmas spirit. I reckon she'll be overflowing before long. So, what was so urgent over the road? Nothing. Did you get your surprise? Amber, I don't want to talk about it. Something's gone on there. Will you just leave it? All right. Keep your hair on. You don't want to be bald for the wedding of the year. Hi! What's Soph about? She looked in. Good of her, considering she's meant to be working. Well, where is she? Don't ask me. She went dashing off in a right state. What did you do to her over there? Nothing. She was dead made up before she left. About this, um, surprise you were going on about? Yeah. I've arranged for us to have a blessing in church, actually, and she was chuffed. Could have fooled me. Yeah, well, Amber, she hasn't been right for ages, actually. Ever since we started planning the wedding, it's just stress, I reckon. Mm. I don't know why people let it get to them. I can't wait to plan my wedding. Really? Too right. Massive party with me in the middle and a posh dress opening present. <laughs> What's not to like? What are you doing here? Um, I invited her over. Why? Because I heard about your little meltdown today. I did not have a meltdown. What would you call it then? Well, I just went... Uh, you just let the wedding get on top of you, I know. And it's fine, because I'm calling in the cavalry. What? Well, Rosie could do the supervision. You need someone to share the load, so I reckon that we could do with another bridesmaid. Someone with special responsibilities for helping us party, and I can't think of anyone more qualified to do that than Amber. So, if you're up for it, 